So if we talk about the filtration technique in sterilization of air, then we use different kind of filters, right? First that we use, I'm going to discuss is depth filter. Right, so now air is subjected to these depth filters and what happens is that this is a glass mold. This is a glass mold, right? This mold is a, it's a glass mold, right? And now the air is being passed through here. Yaha se air will go. And then from here the air will come out. So now when this air is subjected to the glass mold in this depth filter, there are a number of physical forces which actually exerts on this glass wool and air, right? So like there is inertia. Due to the inertia, all the particles will try to move in the direction in which actually they are moving. They keep on moving in the same direction. Then there is a gravitational force because of which the, the some of the particles will tend to uh, settle down towards the gravity. Then there is direct blocking. Then in the field... In the effect of electrical field, there will be electrostatic pressure, electrostatic effect. So these are few physical forces which actually act upon the air, causing the air to get sterilized, right? Like diffusion, direct blocking, these are some other factors. You can just draw the diagram like this and then uh, explain that how this depth filter is being effective in this sterilization of air. So the whole mechanism of uh, sterilizing of air due to the depth filter is basically all these physical forces that are actually acting together to sterilize the air, right? There is inertia, there is electrostatic effect, there is gravity, there is, you know, blocking, diffusion, all of these, so many of the forces all together leads to the sterilization of air. But there is one disadvantage of using a glass wool depth filter. What is that? Now, when we subject this glass wool to a steam, what happens is that it tends to shrink. It tends to shrink. So to avoid that, these days we are using glass fiber filter cartridges. They do not shrink and they remain as it is and then they can be further reused. In case of glass wool, they cannot be reused because of the shrinkage problem. But to overcome this problem, now we have glass fiber filter cartridges that can be used again and again and it does not have that shrinking problem because of the steam sterilization, right? Now another type of filters that can be used apart from depth filters are membrane filters. So these are now these membrane filters are easy to use. They are pleated, they can be easily replaceable, they are simple to use and the material used for uh, these membrane filters are cellulose, esters, nylon, polysulfone. These are some of the material these membrane filters are made up of. So these are also extensively used for air sterilization in industrial fermentations right now one major problem with air sterilization is that there are no filters that can actually filter bacteriophages right so bacteriophages have this ability of crippling our industrial fermentations so this is one very important factor and one exception as we can say in case of filtration so uh, if you have uh, seen the glutamic acid filtration there these bacteriophages have a tendency to uh, the glutamic acid fermentation by corine bacterium corine bacterium glutamicum glutamicum right so during this fermentation there are chances of bacteriophages interrupting and you know just uh, destroying the process of uh, all in this industrial fermentation, right? So I think this is all about the media and air sterilization and fermentation process. I hope you would have liked this video. In case of any 
query or any suggestion, do leave a comment in the comment section and I'm going to share the reply to each one of your comments, right? In case you're interested in any other topic, then also do leave a comment in the comment section and I'm going to make a video on that particular topic soon.